Hey everybody, join me for this Tuesday night ride. First time after the time change. Always feels good, right? A little more sun after work. Allows you to get out and clear the mind. Speaking of clearing the mind, let's talk about biking and mental health. Let's start this out with some uh, story time here. Let's go back all right around three years from now, actually. That would be spring 2020, otherwise known as the uh, birth of the pandemic. Today's March 14th, literally three years ago, everything came crashing down. You know what? I had no idea what was going on. I was graduating college at the time. A couple job offers lined up, and then everything was put on hold. Imagine that after working four years, feel hard, get a degree. It's basically have it in your fingertips and then pull it away. Just a reminder that uh, nothing in this world is guaranteed. However, I kept pushing through. For graduation that year, my uh, parents got me a commuter bike. Just something to get me outside, get some exercise. You know, one of those things. Go ahead. There we go. And uh, anyways, so I got a commuter bike for graduation present. Started riding that like 20 miles. Did that for about a summer. Said, hey, you know what, biking's kind of fun. Fast forward another year, so spring 2021. Bought myself a diamond ring for a special lady. Turned out she wasn't so special. Kind of threw me into a little bit of a loop. You gonna go? Please go. Thank you. Anyways, she threw me into the loop. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I want to do with my life. Just working full time, got a job. Pretty stressful nonetheless with all the uh, COVID restrictions and park shortages and what have you not. So I was pretty stressed. I had to break up on top of that. No idea what to do. Get some coworkers of mine at the time. Thank you, Chris. Decided to build himself a mountain bike. I said, hey, you know what? That's fun. I like riding my bike. I want something a little bit more. So I decided to build myself a mountain bike. An AliExpress special, at least from the frame point of view. That is not the bike that I am riding today, but you know what? It was something. So I bought it, built it. Wrote it. Why not, right? Fell in love with it. You know what? Once I started riding with it, I realized how much it took my mind off things. I go to work, have a stressful day at work, or if I'm just sad things about the past, I can just jump on the bike, head over to the local control system, out of my little heart out. That's what I did about every day. Got like 600 miles on that bike in like three months. All mountain bike trails. It was great. I loved it. it. Served as an everyday vacation from life. It's kind of the key to my happiness for a while too. I wouldn't suggest making your bike your only escapade to search for happiness. Probably pretty unhealthy. That's what I did. It worked for me. So guess what I did? I bought another bike. Yeah, that's right. M plus one is a real thing. And the curse will get you. So I bought this guy. 2021 Seamus Renegade S3. Tell you what, I absolutely love it. Thank you, car, for letting me go. Even though it was kind of your turn. Oh well. But you know what? I started finding that the more I ride, the better my everyday gets. If I don't ride for more than two days, I go a little stir crazy. Yeah, winters are fun. But, stir as a key to happiness. For a while. I did that for a couple years. Then I moved out here to Milwaukee. Let's see this. All right, that wasn't too bad. You know what? Then, oh my gosh, I bought a gravel bike. There ain't no gravel roads around here, but there are potholes. Yeah. Tell you what, I ride and hit the potholes almost on a daily basis. 
and there's a ton of glass. So having the thicker tires, certainly a good move here. Anyways, let's see how this goes. So yeah, bike. I like to say no. Smiles are miles. Are miles getting you smiles? That's it. Miles give you smiles. And the more miles you do, the more smiles it gives you. It's like the gift that never stops giving. Anyways. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Because look what's here now. Alright, I'm going over here. Look at this. Ain't nobody need a fat bike. Ain't nobody need a fat bike. You just gotta find yourself a little rut. Maybe created by a fat bike. Oh. Oh. There we go. Anyways, to continue my spiel about bikes and mental health. You know, everybody needs their own escape. For some people it's drinking. Some people it's running. I'll admit, running is great. I love running. But, for other people, it's something like riding a bike. Whether it be dirt, gravel, literally anything. I don't want to go that way, it's a dead end. I've fallen into that trap before. But, biking. You get to cover a lot of ground fairly quickly. Still get the cardio workout in. Can't go wrong. So I say, miles give you smiles. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to grow this channel, so if you would, give it a like and subscribe. Really appreciate it.